What is up internet? It's your boy Asher here with another gaming video and today we have the brand new Silent Hill playable teaser Silent Hill the short message for being called a short game. It really fucking isn't I'll tell you that much I had to split this video unfortunately into a couple parts So expect part two coming real fucking soon because I've super hyped about this game I didn't know there was gonna be a new Silent Hill drop I thought it was just gonna be Silent Hill 2, the remake. Then I saw this. I avoided all gameplay, I avoided all spoilers, I'm going into this completely blind. As I said, there's only very limited storage on my phone. So, you know, as much as I would love to do one full playthrough for you guys, just bear with me, you know. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, dislike it if you dislike it, and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Without further ado, let's get into the gameplay. Here we are, jumping right into a new game is their subtitle okay perfect so we're gonna play as a little nerdy 15 year old girl um hopefully i can play it all in one video if not i'm gonna have to break this into two parts little message for everybody suicide is not the answer as somebody who's suicidal i know you guys have watched my videos and seen my suicide scars you've seen the scars on my arms that's the thing. I do not glorify suicide. My uh, plans were to kill myself at 18, so this is something very serious to me. I'm taking therapy, and I think if you have thoughts of suicide, you should take it as well. It's, it's not overrated, trust me. I, th I thought it didn't help. I had no faith in therapy whatsoever, but I finally got therapy. And let me tell you, my physical health has been better. My mental health has been better. I'm not exactly where I need to be, but I'd be dead by now if it wasn't for therapy. So if you are trouble, if you are struggling, please, 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 please reach out. Seek professional help. No matter of talking is going to fix things. You need a professional help and that's okay. We all need help sometimes. Seeking a connection with others is a sign of weakness. It's running away. The strongest animals don't form groups. They act alone and need only themselves to survive. Those who betray themselves to fit into a group are pathetic. <laughs> There's no beauty in living like that. I want to be strong on my own, without a group. If there were only someone who would understand that to adult me. And that's how I used to think. That's how I still think to this very day. If you ask anybody who knows me in real life, I am a loner. I don't like making connections. I find it weakness, you know what I mean? But that's a very toxic way of thinking. I feel like you need to let people in. At the end of the day, basically, we are social creatures. You can't, you can't go your entire life. You can't go your entire life alone. You go crazy. Why? Because you're a, you're a fucking little ape human. You're a stupid little monkey at the end of the day. Don't let that deter you. I just... People have this grandiose way of thinking when they're suicidal you think nothing matters and you think uh everybody else is useless but wasn't I just... trust me th this is coming from somebody who is suicidal and yes i am saying is suicidal not pants tense i think about suicide every day i know how to do it i want to show you something can you come to the villa oh yeah Maya told me to come here. What a fucking shithole, dude. Another reason I turn off uh, my face cam and only do commentary is because I'm actually playing in the dark. Which, holy shit, playing Silent Hill in the dark. Nothing compares to that, bro. Nothing compares to playing Silent Hill in the dark. But honestly, though, if that's your way of thinking that... This model, is it this building? Hmm. 
If that's your way of thinking, though, breaking free through the cage, four two six seven free, Dom six. Damn, dude, I'm not gonna remember this. Dom five six four two one. I feel like that's gonna be important, but I'm gonna fucking completely forget it. Four two six seven. Four two six seven. Plan to rebuild have suffered yet another major setback as instability caused by the COVID-19 pandemic has reduced interest from foreign investors. Previous plans to jumpstart the town failed to materialize owing to the monetary instability caused by the 2008 global financial crisis, which forced to plan to involve Japanese corporations and financial institutions to be reconsidered to attempts to rebuild to failures due to unfortunate external circumstances, has struggled to bounce back with increased employment. Unemployment, sorry. The city council has considered ways to revitalize the economy by drawing skilled experts to the area, but as of yet, no effective measures have been implemented. Everyone's losing their futures, as all adults are. A slave to the system. This game is real. This game is speaking to me already, bro. And if it's not speaking to you, that's a good thing. I'm happy. For, I'm happy that you're happy. But if you feel like all these messages are being played on the screen or speaking to you, just seek some help. You know what I mean? It's never too late to seek help. And, and it's not weakness. Tr trust me, I, I had the same mindset as you, bro, that fucking asking for help is weakness. Having friends is weakness. But it's like, nah, bro. Strength in numbers. Humans are a social creature. We can't go without socializing. You just can't. Basic biology, bro. Basic biology, we can't go without socializing. You go crazy. I have schizophrenia because of it. And a lot of people are suffering the same shit because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Okay, see, I'm telling you, th this has something to do with something. A town with a long history, stronghold in the recent years, those in their 20s have begun living en masse, causing concern. The aim of the wide scale projects is to rebuild and restore it to its former glory. The theme is revitalization. The abandoned properties developed by Japanese corporations in 2008 have been a long problem. But by repurposing them, we can cut costs substantially and better realize our vision for a new. Wow. So this place didn't always. Parents dreamed of this? Teddy bear! Bro! Like, shut the fuck- This game- This is why I like Silent Hill. This is why I will always like Silent Hill. It reminds me of this one song. When she's- Where are you, Maya? You talk too much, bitch. I'm trying to talk to my audience. Shut the fuck up. Fucking annoying, asshole. Why the fuck is there flowers in there? Don't dead open inside. I'm trapped. I've always been trapped. Oh, it's a song by Francisco the Man. It's like, um... Fuck, that's such a good song. It goes something like, um... Oh no, I don't think it's Francisco the Man. I think it's actually a song by Parlor Hawk, where it's like... All the billboards that our fathers dreamt of in this town. Uh, I'll show you the lyrics, obviously, in an edit. Right now, I can't fucking remember them off the top of my head. It's a really good song. To all Villa residents, we have received many inquiries about the management of this building after the recent news. We would therefore like to hold a meeting to explain our policies more formally. The whole point of the song is, though, it's like our fathers like fought and died to get to this country. And like they saw it as something beautiful and amazing. But to us, it's just a prison. That's why I love that fucking song. Don't be manipulated. Believe in your senses. Suffocate fam. I've seen this photo before somewhere. I've seen this. Here's the thing though. I'm not the. I'm a. I'm, we'll repaint it all. I'm a huge Silent Hill fan. 
but mostly Silent Hill 2. I never finished Silent Hill 1. I have Silent Hill 3, but I haven't gotten around to playing it yet. Which I definitely need to do. Did Maya do this? I'm not going to be fake with y'all. Cherry Blossom. That's Maya's signature. She's... Amazing. <laughs> this city is a blank canvas. Begging for us to paint it with our hopes and dreams. A real person. I want to show the hidden side of girls. Their impulses. Their urges. What are you hiding inside? Me? Don't worry about what people think. The dub is awful. Be proud. This dub is awful. She's not saying those words. What am I hiding inside? How could I ever be proud of myself? You guys have seen... If, if you're watching this video, guarantee you've seen what I'm hiding inside. It's terrible. For a graffiti artist, spray paint and blank wall are you need. The walls of particular apartment buildings are the canvas for several artists with a new piece showing up every day. Social media star features her work here. Giving her blah, 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 blah. Continues to captivate the hearts of the young. So we reach her for comment. All I'm doing is showing what these girls feel on the inside but can't show on the outside. If any of them connect with a girl in the art. You hear the PT baby, right? I'm not the only one who hears a PT baby. You know the baby that's in the sink, PT? I hear it right now. Out of the flowers she depicts on the young girl, she paints bloom out of the scars they bear. The flowers represent the girls overcoming past traumas, or at least their desire to do so. Everyone can see how talented she is. I couldn't be more different. Okay, can we normalize devs? Don't dead open inside. Can we normalize devs shutting their fucking characters up? Bitch, I saw you. You ain't scare me. It's like Chucky, bro. I can I can punch your ass across a fucking room. You think you're scaring me? Can devs normalize their characters shutting the fuck up, though? I mean, comments... The people who play these games are commentary YouTubers. We want to talk over the games, not fucking listen to the characters mumble about bullshit. Ooh, scary. Who's there? Emily, are you alright? You asleep? You still asleep? Didn't see you at your job? You taking your meds? Sorry for the late reply. I fell asleep. I'm okay. I can actually get some rest now. Didn't mean to scare you or anything. Seriously, don't worry about it. It's all good. I'm a little tired, but I'm gonna get up soon. Relief. Okay, so the game's wanting me to go right, but I'm gonna go left really quick. Oh, this is where. Okay, there's nothing here. I'm assuming there's nothing here. If I fucking watch somebody else play through it, this game and so something's over there, I'm gonna be pissed off. Because I know in PT, there was actually the woman who was following you the entire fucking time and you didn't know it. Loser, crybaby, creep. I'm a creep. With this place? I'm a weirdo. Why all the what the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. This is the worst you can do. Dude, growing up, my mother called me a faggot, a Nancy boy, a fucking Satan. I mean, like, come on, loser, creep, fat. My mother used to call me way worse growing up, <laughs> pussy. A recent statistical survey has shown that the rate, what, the rate of child abuse last year was nearly doubled. The recent economic strife and its resolving poverty are thought to be the cause. My mom, loved me. My mom hated me. 
Nah, shout out my moms. We have a very rocky relationship, but we love each other. Pervert. See, this one makes sense. I am a pervert. Nobody cares. Fuck you, Doug. Legit, I've been called so much worse in my life that this fucking means nothing. Yo, shout out to anybody who takes olanzapine. Anybody else here takes schizophrenia medicine or is it just me? Antidepressants kiss my ass, bro. That shit ain't strong enough for me. Told you. I told you. This is exactly like the PT bathroom. Like I said, bro, I used to do that too. You can still see it in my videos. If you look out close enough, you can see the scars on my arm in my videos. That's not how you kill yourself. I mean, that. Never mind. I should give you guys false information, bro. Just so you guys don't actually learn how to kill yourselves. You know what? I was gonna say keep doing it wrong. Just don't do it at all, bro. Cutting does nothing, bro. It doesn't help. Huh? What about you, Anita? You didn't look so hot the other day. I'm taking my meds. Meds are good, but what about therapy? Oh, uh, yes, it does. Yes, it does. People who say therapy doesn't do anything are the people who have never fucking taken therapy. Exactly. Okay, so apparently somebody was hospitalized for God knows what. I love this world so much. It's just so me, you know? I already read that, right? Maya? Hey! Oh, man. If I if I didn't have fucking a uh, coughing problem right now, I'd be laughing. That was a goofy-ass motherfucker. Why am I looking behind me? Never look behind you in a chase. Why am I looking behind me? <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Oh, my ears, dude. What the fuck? This is loud. I'm a creep. Am I safe? Where did it even go? What the fuck was that thing? I should have taken a good look. I'm stupid. I should have taken a good look at it. Fuck, man. So I could see the monster. You hear? I'm in the studio. I'm in the stew. There's a monster here. Okay, she doesn't give a fuck. A rundown apartment complex has become known for its suicide with teenage girls jumping from its roof. Is that what we're gonna do? Despite recent events, the building abandoned. Completely declared bankruptcy remains easily accessible. The young and unemployed. Why you gotta go there? Why you gotta go there? It's always when I'm unemployed that I wanna kill myself. Are not deterred by the building's grim reputation, with many continuing to enter it and young graffiti artists using it for their work. Please. Not Maya, too. She has been acting weird lately. I'm a creep. I'm a weirdo. <laughs> Cherry blossoms bloom within the grasp of death. With most flowers, the rot sets in, then they fall. That's the price of new life. Not cherry blossoms, though. They bloom beautiful, they fall beautiful. That's how I want my life to be. 
I'm sick and tired of Japanese people using the fucking Why is she not replying? Come on. cherry blossom aesthetic. I have to find her. That's like if every okay. I know what you're saying. Oh, but you know it's something of pride of the country. But it's like it's like if every fucking American made their goddamn personality fucking cherry pies and baseball. You know what I mean? It's so fucking ugh. It's so basic and stereotypical. Oh, I'm Japanese. Look at my cherry blossoms. It's like I'm American. I don't go fucking fl waving the American flag and big titties everywhere. That monster. It's gone, right? I don't know, maybe. Where is the studio? I'm about to light that studio on fire with my bars, motherfucker. This graffiti fucking sucks. What are you? Inside the fog of social media. Inside the fog, you know, because Silent Hill. All of teenage interviewed say they were ashamed of the risky selfies they posted online. They also claimed getting anxiety, one kinds of extremely low self esteem. The greater the anxiety, the lower their confidence. The sense of fulfillment they experienced after getting a like. Furthermore, even when acknowledged the teenagers could not view their actions positively. And reverted to despair, seeking more attention to fill the void. And that's that's the effect of social media. I know you, people don't like to hear it. But that's the, that's the effect social media has had on us as a fucking society. You have so much access to shit you don't have access to. So you're living your life completely vicariously from other. Always chasing that next high of like. You're basically coveting a life you could never have. Oh. Wait, why is this area accessible if I can't fucking go anywhere? But that's the dangers of social media, bro. That's why I, like it's my job. You know, it's my job. I wouldn't say it's my job. It's more of a hobby right now. But I'm trying to make it my job, you know what I mean? So, I have a reason for staying on social media all the fucking time, but like if you're not trying to be an influencer, Stay the fuck off social media. It's so good for you, bro. You get no validation from it. It's just empty fucking dopamine hits. What are you open? You're not open, bitch. All right, I got nine more minutes that I'm allowed to record. Creepy, Maya. I hope you're all right. This game better wrap up soon. I'm not trying to do a two-parter, bro. By the way, thought any more about college? I can't do it. You don't have to decide. So once you're at college, are you not coming back here? No way, I'll come back occasionally. My parents would give a shit if I didn't come home for breaks. But yeah, just give college some more thought, okay? I told you I can't go. It's not for me. Studying isn't my thing. Man, I really feel this main character. That's how I thought. I literally gave up high school because I was like, there's no point in going to college. I can't afford... What? Damn. Oh, he doesn't get it. Gotcha. So he don't really like this place. I get it. People in this town see graffiti as nothing but trashy doodles. And my classmates talk about me. Might not be a bad idea to leave town, actually. The great thing about graffiti is the world's your canvas. And as long as I'm with you, I can have fun anywhere. How I wish they would have kept no way out. the original Japanese audio. As somebody who grew up watching anime, it really pisses me off seeing this shitty dub. I would have loved to just hear her actually speak Japanese so I can read the subtitles. Skizenbach. Are these Maya's sketch? 
brushes? These aren't even finished. And they look this good. Fucking <laughs> shut the fuck up, the artist jerking himself off. They seem happy. A new life. So full of life. This is exactly what we were just staring at. Stop creaming your pants over shit you've already seen. The Silent Hill series though, has always been about mental health, so you know, that's what draws me to it. It's beautiful. Who did Maya have in mind? That looks like my birthmark. If you haven't seen the message by now, she's jealous of her friend and that's causing separation anxiety. She's feeling alienated. I'm sorry. You have your own situation to deal with. I was out of line. I was thinking selfishly. I'm so sorry. Uh, no, I, I shouldn't have gotten mad. Never mind. Huh? Why did she jump from the villa? Why did she have to die? Maya's dead? Wait. Maya's really dead? Never mind. Uh, how? How could I forget that? Okay, so it's not jealousy, it's... Who's this? Find it. Who? I guess I should have expected that from a Silent Hill game. I hope we wrap this up though, I only have three minutes left on this recording, dude. Like, come on. So basically though, this, this game is about... Dealing with adulthood and the troubles that come with that. The separation anxiety when you lose your f Oh. I wanted to chase that person. The separation anxiety of being separated from your friends, being independent, and losing friends I've, you know, seen. Having people die on you and move away. Having your life completely collapse upon itself. Oh! Oh, it's a cherry blossom monster.
Huh? That was supposed to happen, okay. Haha, <laughs> see? You guys over here were thinking I did bad, but it was supposed to happen. It was a scripted event, you fucking idiots. Is this a dream? <laughs> I'm still the best gamer. I'm just kidding. We really need to wrap this up, though. Like, we really need to- Oh, no, it wasn't a scripted event. I'm just ass. Never mind, I'm over here shit-talking the people. That wasn't supposed to happen. Never mind. But I like that because, you know, that's when I started becoming suicidal. When, I, when my ex-girl left me, I uh, dropped out of high school. All my friends stopped talking to me. And the friends that I did have, you see how they're all strangers? That's kind of the... Oh, no, 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 this way. Ooh, that was close. But all the friends that I did have were very alienated and fake. It felt like the only time my friends would talk to me as an adult was just to shit talk my other friends. I 100% can relate to this main character though. There's no way you're fucking jealous of a dead girl, though, dude. Like, come on. That's kind of selfish, don't you think? Oh, she's gonna kill herself. This is where I Do a backflip. Do a backflip. Maybe I can be like her. This isn't the way. This isn't the way. Seriously, don't commit suicide. If you have problems, if you're thinking about it, seek professional help. Suicide is never the answer, bro. Whee! You know, I stay alive for y'all. I stay alive for the kitties. I'm not trying to be part of the 27 Club, bro. I want to show kids that there's more to life than... The 27 Club. We can make it further, bro. There's a reason God's kept me alive, bro. And it's to show y'all motherfuckers that there's a way out. If my pathetic ass can do it, so can you. Never give up. That was nice. But honestly, it didn't feel like a Silent Hill game. It felt like a fucking mission in Infamous Second Son. Dude, I need to wrap this up. PT was definitely stronger. Oh my god. Dude, I really need to end this gameplay. It can't go more than 35 minutes. Oh no. My battery. 4267. 564213. It says freedom. Bro, I really need this to end. Like. I appreciate the message it's trying to convey. But it's just a walking simulator. And I feel like they could have been... Like, this is Silent Hill, dude. In Silent Hill 2, there's a whole character that you have to fight that literally represents rape. You know what I mean? Like, you could have gone harder. You could have gone a little bit harder. Oh, 
a bitch, slut. Ugly ass. Was that that? Oh. All the teenagers surveyed suffered from deep psychological issues caused by past experience and interesting all of them conceptualize these issues as grandiose stories of sorts one girl plays herself in the role of a tragic hero convincing herself she was at the mercy of an abusive stepmother and that her lo loving real mother existed elsewhere another girl viewed her childhood scars as stigmata believing those scars would bloom into beautiful cherry blossoms these convenient tales in the face of extreme adversity are born out of a deep desire to escape unbearable pain and self-hatred the greater the trauma the more grand if you've been paying attention to this channel at all if you've been subscribed for a while You've seen you've seen it in action. It's back on. That's what all of my videos have been representing. How could somebody do this? What the fuck, dude? Some people really have nothing better to do. Wait. I bet it was these guys. What's up, guys? I like this. I really need to finish this demo. What's this? Oh, whoa. Well. Right here, okay. Okay, I need a part two. I'm so sorry. I have to end it here. It's just gonna keep going. I'm sorry. All right, and with that being said, that was the video, guys. Uh, like I said in the very beginning, you know, I'll try to play part two as soon as I possibly can. Trust me, I try to milk this episode. I really try to, but I don't even know if it's gonna fucking fit on my phone. If I have to refilm this, I'm gonna be very sad. But I'll do it for you guys, you know what I mean? I'll do it for you guys. So, you know, remember to do all that basic YouTube shit. Like, comment, subscribe, dislike it if you dislike it. I've been your host, Asher. And remember, reach out. Reach out and seek professional help. There's no shame in that. I mean, like, look at me, dude. You see that? You see that? I reached out for help. And I'm, I'm so fucking happy I did. Okay, you are not alone in this. A lot of people, especially since the pandemic, have been feeling the exact same way you do. There's no shame in it. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Don't do anything stupid. Just call the suicide hotline if you need to. I'll even put a fucking link in the description, okay? There will be in the link in the description to call the suicide hotline if you need any help. Please, please, please reach out. Thank you so much for your time and your attention. I love y'all. I'll see you in the next episode. Kisses.